The Technicals. And what is up guys, Technicals here. Today we're taking a look at the Bitmain Antminer Z11 just announced yesterday. Today is March 19th, 2019. Got notification of this miner through ASIC Miner Values Twitter. Highly recommend you follow them and turn on notifications. It's how I get notified when these new ASIC miners come out. Taking a look at ASIC Miner Values site here, the Bitmain Ant Miner Z11. Looks like this got this double stack configuration similar to the E3 with this uh, souped up uh, control board on the top. Standard Ethernet port on the front. Looks like we're going to have power inputs on the rear side of the miner itself little bit different of a configuration no rear fans pictured currently listed as taking in eleven dollars and ninety one cents per day if you're no stranger to the ASIC game to the mining game in general you know these figures only go down that is unless the market takes a takes a volley and goes through the roof we don't expect that anytime soon 11.91 a day is quite a lot especially compared to any of the other equihash miners right now which are pulling in significantly less z11 is rated at 135,000 souls per second consuming about 1500 watts of electricity so if you're mining at home and you're on a 20 amp circuit you could run one of these things it'd be the only thing that you could run on there and you'd barely be squeezing by and there's questions in there about safety however many of the other miners that are in this range of speed really require 240 or 208 you could squeeze by on residential service on this thing looking at some of the other specs here it is a big beefy monster that double stack configuration and it is not light 5400 grams it's five and a half kilos it's uh it's on the heavier side of the uh of the the asic equation although asics you know they're not really lightweight anyway they're not meant to be they're just meant to be what they are however much efficiency and power you can pack into a small form factor that's the name of the game so it is a bit dense three boards on this model on the 12 nanometer architecture not on seven nanometer i'm not even sure if seven nanometer is in question for a uh, equihash base asic asics Nine total chips on the board, 70 decibel noise level, so around what the other amp miners are, and still at that 15, around that 1500 watt mark. That's going to fluctuate a little bit, and you're probably going to be able to play maybe with your frequencies. We're not sure yet. We know that with batch two of the Z9 Mini, and I'm not sure if maybe the Z9 or even the A9Z Master, but first batch Z9 Mini, you were able to overclock it and get about 16,000 souls, about 60% more hash power on the z9 mini batch one is that going to be the same for this the z11 because we know bitmain turned off that functionality for batch two z9 minis are they going to do that with this model to prevent people from getting insane hash rates i would think no because the z11 may indeed be the one of the last ditch efforts from bitmain to save their company we know that they've had a lot of trouble here over the past year as profits are down as people exit get out of bitmain as their ico on the hong kong or not the ico the ipo on the hong kong stock exchange did not pan out for whatever reason i don't know the news there comment below if you know the details of that all i know is the top uh, top line headline is that bitmain is not having the greatest of years is the z11 their silver bullet hopefully to pull out uh, and save their company, keep it moving forward. I would say this is a, a case of that because Bitmain is cannibalizing their existing Equihash ASICs. The Z9 Mini, the Z9 are completely blown out of the water by the Z11. So they're going to have a lot of pissed off miners, people who adopt the Z9 Mini, the Z9, the Batch 2, so on and so forth. They're going to be pretty pissed because they had no time whatsoever to recoup uh, their investment on those miners before they go and release the Z11. Also, we've seen in the past other ASIC companies releasing ASICs ahead of other companies because in China, as we all know, industrial espionage is a big thing. And so when they get wind of another company about to release a product, they shotgun their product out or release what they have at the time just to be first to market, just to capitalize on those sales before somebody else comes. So are we expecting another Equihash ASIC, another generation of Equihash ASIC coming through? We already know the ASIC Miner Co. Um, uh, Xeon came out last year getting 180,000 souls, but that thing was a giant beast with water cooling. Voscoin did a review. The thing was a total POS. 
uh, we know that that did not pan out. Now Bitmain's coming in with a small form factor, two fan, double stack, 135,000 soul Equihash ASIC using only 1500 watts. Terrific improvements in efficiency. Are you going to buy one? Let me know in the comments below. Just wanted to get this video out to you guys, let you know that this thing exists. If you've got any more information on the Bitmain Antminer Z11 or any other ASICs, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to take a look and love to get it out. Be sure to subscribe to me on Twitter. I'm at the Technicals. Also on Instagram, at the Technicals. Head into our Discord, type discord.thetechnicals.io into your browser. Take you straight into our Discord or just click the link in the description below. I'm the Technicals. See you next time.